In this video, we are going to deal with how to create formulas within a pivot table using things like calculated fields and calculated items. So the challenge we have is that our source data doesn't include any formulas or functions to calculate gross profit or tax. So is there a way to bring that into the pivot table without changing the source data? So if we look at our source data, you'll see the two numbers that we have is an amount for sales and then the cost. We'd like to create a formula that calculates firstly the gross profit, as well as then a tax at, for example, a rate of 15%. Now, short of coming in to our source data and typing out a brand new column for gross profit and for tax and creating the formulas, is there a way to get this information within our pivot table? To look something like this, where we have gross profit as a brand new field that we can analyze, and we've got tax as a brand new item within the summary provided. So this is what we are gonna try and recreate using our source data. I'm gonna delete these two columns, and let's start by creating our pivot table using Alt-N-V and pressing OK to have this created on a brand new worksheet. So as you can see, we've got our pivot table fields but there's no item for tax and there's no item for gross profit. So if we were to try and analyze our pivot table, let's say by category and by sales amount, we can see that we would like to also have the ability to show the gross profit. But the gross profit would be equal to the sales amount less the cost. So we need a formula that looks something like this. But we don't want to create this with a formula, especially since if we go and change the way our pivot table is structured, these formulas will be out of place. So we are going to create what's known as a calculated field. Simply clicking somewhere within the values field, moving to the analyze tab and across to fields, items and sets. And you'll notice that the only available option is a calculated field. We're going to name this field gross profit. And we have to provide a formula. And that formula is simply the amount less the cost. And we can click OK. And as you can see, those are the exact same answers as we would get a moment ago. However, this time it's built into the pivot table, allowing us to actually remove the cost and the sales amount but still analyze our gross profit. So that's step one. We've added a calculated field, and that field has now been added to our field list. However, what if we want tax? We certainly don't want tax to be another field in our pivot table. Instead, we want it to be a line under all of these categories, which will allow us to analyze within gross profit the effect of these numbers on the tax. So this is not going to be a calculated field, but rather a calculated item within the field. So clicking on an item in the row labels, move to fields, items and sets and choose calculated item. I'm going to name this tax. And now you'll notice that not only do we have the different fields, but we have the different items within the fields. So we can create a formula that says it's equal to the negative of the sum, and we can use our open parenthesis, and click all of these options split with a comma. And let's multiply that by 15%. Be sure to click add, and then click OK. And as you can see, the tax is added as an item within this category. If we were to turn this category off, and put subcategory on, you will not find anything for tax. We are now able to analyze what is the effect of tax within these specific items under category. So as we can see, it is very possible to create formulas within a pivot table. We saw adding a field and adding an item. We added the gross profit as a field so that we could see it without having to show the sales amount as well as the cost. We added tax as an item so that it was actually included in the field of categories. 
and was shown as a part of the list below. Now both of these features are actually quite old and have been replaced by much more powerful and useful features using PowerPivot. However, PowerPivot is not available for all versions of Excel 2016. So if you do not have PowerPivot, you can still use these methods of creating a calculated field and a calculated item to still get the correct answer that you might be looking for. We'll see you in the next video.